Now you're ju you just caught a creature right there. What is this? We've got the enormous, magnificent Spicolophorius. That's the uh, that's the scientific street name. But as as those around town have been calling it, Twangi. The Twangi. The Twangi, known for its two eyes that are never the two eyes that never <clears throat> close. It's quite fascinating, really. That way, its prey feels that it's watching it, but really it's just sleeping, which it sleeps for 24 and a half hours of the day. And this one's asleep now. Absolutely. It's quite, it's quite a nocturnal creature. If they, yeah, I can tell by the <laughs> by the daytime. If it weren't uh, asleep now, now would it be attacking? It's um, it's been known to attack, but it no, normally just it's it's a uh, it's actually a sub, a sub genre from a, uh, a sloth. Indeed. So are they arboreal? Absolutely. And going back and forth, it really, it's really quite a, a good jumper. It's quite the um, leapist. Uh huh. The leap. Uh, also, also been known to mate with the leap frogoris, but its spiky uh, battalion doesn't allow for much, much cross pollination. Uh huh. And when it leaps, now does does it get stuck to things? All those little things are pointy. Uh, they're they're very quite sharp, sharp. Quite sharp. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, do they get stuck to things very often? Oh yes. Well, that that's how they sleep. Oh, I see. They literally put themselves in to their leaf or tree or mate, and and nod off. <laughs> they don't actually nod off, they nod on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite quite fascinating. Luck, luckily, lucky to be able to find such a creature. Yes, now another thing I found quite fascinating is that its leaping ability is just derived without legs. How, does they, how do they do that? Well, while it may appear not to have legs, all, all, these, all these spiky things, as some one might say, are actually, they're, are actually its legs. It's um, it uses these spiky things for everything, for for walking, for grabbing something, for making, for reproducing, for sleeping. I mean, everything it uses, besides its eyes, are its spindles. That's what they're called. Scientific name for it. And the spindles allow it to do anything. Like like I said, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And who are we to know? It's just so difficult to find these creatures and really study for them. Even though they're sleeping all the time, they find quite special places. I mean, look, look, look how it blends in so perfectly. <laughs> I've heard that they came from um, the deeps far southeast of Asia, where they were revered by the, the kings and the queens and the pharaohs, or whatever they had in that area, as superior beings. Superior. Well, back in those days, they used to fly. Ah. They would, they would use it as wings. But now, unfortunately, through their um, migration into the Americas via via river, they've just devolved. Unfortunately, that is unfortunate. Yes, but I was happy to see one, especially of this caliber, uh, living well. Now we don't want to wake this up, so perhaps we should set it back down into its natural habitat. Absolutely. If only we knew where that really was. Sleep tight. Name, age, city, and state. Nick Schreiner. My friends call me Magnus. Chico, California. 22 years old. Good job.